What is going on, everyone? Welcome to today's video. My name is Mike. Today, we're jumping back into the Owner Operator series, and we had to make a little pit stop here at the graphic shop. Got a little bit of paint work done here on the truck. Let's jump into it and see what we got. Right, guys so if you guys are new here this is the owner operator series where we are playing on a realistic economy and a realistic fuel price mod which is basically going to be giving us actually real-time market loads and fuel prices for the areas that we are in we are running on the stock scs map in case anyone is curious links down in the description below i'll be make sure to i'll be make sure i'll make sure to put them down there in the description so you guys can check this out for yourself we are running, of course, the Smarties 350 Peterbilt. As of right now, this is a free mod. A uh, few other little mods here and there, but in, in case you guys want to try this out for yourself, the biggest two mods you're going to need are the realistic fuel economy and the realistic um, fuel prices. Everything else you could really make your own. You know, this is basically supposed to be your own kind of experience as an owner operator. So, really, if you guys like running Kenworths, Peterbilts, Freightliners, the whole nine, definitely give it a go but for me we're gonna be starting out here old school with the old 350 if you guys are new here make sure to hit that subscribe button we have just crossed over 4,000 subscribers here on the youtube channel we are officially on the way to 5,000 subscribers here uh, if you guys are new we are also live streaming live on twitch mondays wednesdays and fridays and this video will be released friday morning so tonight which is the 21st of july we will be doing some SCS giveaways there over on Twitch for hitting those 4,000 subs. If you guys are looking to get involved with that, if you guys happen to miss it tonight, the next milestone is going to be 1,500 followers over there on Twitch, and we are already currently sitting at about 1,300, so very close to that. We'll be doing even more giveaways, tons and tons of things to give away here to the Hammerhead community. Uh, let's jump right into this thing. Of course, we stopped over here at the Rider. Rider? Oh, what's on the door? <laughs> the Rider paint shop there and as you guys already saw there it is the truck is nice and lettered up modded transport is sitting on there no no dot numbers and all that we're gonna run this pretty low school you know love the nice little logo we got on there right now courtesy of mr natty ice appreciate you big hammer he does all of my logos as well for my rides let's jump here into the truck we're gonna get this thing fired on up brings to life so now we left you guys off we picked this load up and now it is 11 o'clock in the morning i had to go run over here get this thing done with we did add two more mods here on the profile uh, i will put links in the description but i do recommend that you go to those sites at your own risk they are the jazzy cat traffic mod and of course the classic traffic so we got some older school trucks in the tr you know basically trucks trailers stuff like that things that you'd normally see uh, we're going to head up on the 5, basically, and go the 5 all the way up here to Everett to try to get this load off. It is a $533 load. We took out a $100,000 loan here, which was a massive mistake, but we'll see how we can recover. Truck comes to life there, and my brakes are... Oh, look at that. We didn't even have the brakes on there. Uh, the truck is, like I said, the Smarty 350 Peterbilt, and... We still have no GPS in this thing. And look at that, guys, I already stalled it. You got to have release the brakes, huh? There you go, Mike. All righty, let's continue onward. The engine is a beta engine from Serial Black Modding. Whoa, excuse me, dude. Cummins, big cam. You guys, have to let us know what you guys think about this engine. As we go around the pumps here, we don't need any go go juice. But this thing will be a screamer. And we're going to look for the 5 North. And I think I got to make a what out of here? Is it right? Let's see if this will 
little uh, update here. I'm not really worried about the no GPS here on this, primarily because we already have a profile for no GPS. But uh, there it goes, it does reconnect itself. Make sure the trailer stays following the track. And we'll see where we're going over the highway there. And then jump it on the five. So guys, let me know down in the comments section, are you guys trying out a realistic profile yourself there with the realistic economy and fuel prices? Let me know if you guys are doing that down below and let me know how your successes are. Hopefully you guys are doing successful. I saw a few uh, comments there where if you do the specialized loads, there could be a slight hiccup. So good to keep that in mind. And we have 250 horsepower in this truck. We got a 10 speed transmission. And we are going to, like I said, take this up to Everett. We got a little bit of a short ride left, about 150 miles. And you guys want to see some more of this, and that is what we'll do. We will try to get a, maybe uh, do one, maybe we'll do one video one week, two videos another week, another one the following week. Try to get some content out on this. I do love this series. Today also we are of course using our button box from Sim Panel, our ATS and ETS2 communication box. Link down in the description below. We are very glad to have a Sim Panel part of the Hammerhead community. We are also rocking and rolling with the Toby Head Tracker. Very glad to have Toby as well part of the Hammerhead community as we are an ambassador. We will have links down in the description below for you guys to go ahead and get a nice discount from both companies on enhancing your American truck or Euro truck simulator experience. So big, big shout out to them. Really do love working with them. Like I said, I've been using the Toby now for about almost two years. Yeah, just about almost two years now. And uh, I've absolutely fell in love with it. I love the fact that I don't actually have to wear a hat while I'm driving here. You guys can't see me currently, but of course I have no hat on, so I'm able to look left and look right, look up, and then look down as well. It is also an eye tracker, so I do not have it on my eyes, but if I did, it would be a little bit more chaotic. And of course, paired that with the button box here from SimPanel, I have changed my setup already about four times since we've moved into this new house, and having this button box, it flows so nicely on however I set this thing up. It is exactly what I need for my experience here. And like I said, if you guys out there in the Hamburg community want to check that out, make sure to use one of our links down there so you guys can get a nice little juicy discount. Now we got a nice little ride going up the road here. Hopefully DOT doesn't bother us. We do have the truck lettered. Very, very good to have that ready to ride. I think we're in the highest gear. Yeah, we are uh, really rocking it here today, huh? 45 mile an hour right now. We can try to downshift here. Let's downshift. Let the, let the old Cummins open up a little bit. Maybe not that much, huh? Wow, look at that. See, I don't even know my gear range on the old Cummins. I thought maybe we'd have a little bit more, but that's a pretty big drop. So also in the comments, like I asked last video, we asked what some of the goals were and what we could do here for the goals. And I do really like a lot of your guys' ideas. The billionaire one was quite comical. I don't know if we could be a billionaire, but... Uh, I do like a lot of the suggestions and then uh, I believe in the next video we will have a more of a layout plan of how we are going to go forward with of course a goal here in mind because that's what we like to try to do is to have a goal so we can feel like we've uh, got some sort of accomplishment and I'll tell you what I really like running this truck and what the cool thing about this profile is too is we're gonna we're gonna always keep this truck and we'll obviously be moving on uh, as we grow as a company. We'll be able to maybe buy a newer 379, perhaps a 389, maybe a Kenworth Freightliner, maybe even a Western Star, and uh, really grow the company. And it'd be really cool to come back and maybe do some kind of like uh, memory lane videos here running this whole 
girl. getting off at anyway uh past this roundabout the next one get off uh all right wait, wait, let's try to figure this out together past this roundabout get off the next one make my first left down to the intersection make a right make a left we'll figure it out so i definitely do not want this exit so we'll move over a lane Excuse me. Had a tickle in my throat. Oh, here we go, guys. Any you Jake Brake fans out there? Gonna wind her out now. Oh, yeah. The Jake Brake does what the Jake Brake does. Alright, so it looks like we're gonna be getting off of this exit. And let's see how Mike does. I 
just worked a 12-hour day today in real life. I do drive trucks IRL, in case anyone did not know. I am a real-life truck driver. And I believe it was this one here. Jake Brink. that everyone's cell phones are now listening to them is SCS listening to us do they know something we don't know what is that that is cool look at the 
tugboat go through. This is awesome. I never knew this really existed. And I believe, was it the last episode of this that we mentioned it? That is awesome. I wonder if my fuel gauge actually works in the truck. Does my dip lock work? Oh, it does. Look at that. Very, very cool. Is the uh, bridge going to come back down today, or are we just going to hang out here all day, or what? What seems to be the uh, the narrative? Oh my God, what kind of bridge is this? I have never in 33 years of living on this planet Earth have ever seen a bridge do something like that. If that is real, please let me know down in the comment section. That is the most wildest thing I have ever seen in 33 years in this life. Now, where I'm from, over here in the Northeast, I was originally from New Jersey. We've had plenty and plenty of bridges. Loads of bridges, especially over by the water, by the Jersey Shore. I have never seen a bridge go sideways ever all right so here's the lever here up on the right right next to the bridge of the most interesting circumstances uh what did this say west metal that's not where we're going where are we going oh we're going to lever oh oh the metal place is over there too oh that's awesome oh i like this a lot oh, i'm about this now, we do have our stuff set to random, and there it is there up on the left-hand side, or the right-hand side, I should say. Four ways on, let them know that we're here. It says truck delivery to the left, however, we are dropping on the machine. So we qualify under a little bit more than just a regular truck delivery. There, maybe they're working in the garage. Just a couple of the doors open there. Turn the old Jake brake on. We don't want to go through the windshield. And we will take it wide. Bring it around town. And we're going to follow that trailer right into the lines, guys. It's just the trailer that needs to go in the lines. But of course. I am Mike, also known as Modded ATS, so I need to make sure we are a little bit stri slightly straight there. There we go. Pulling the brake will do it. Shut down the old Cummins. And we need to drop the trailer. There it is. And we should get our acceptance. There it is. 152 miles, 7 hours, and 59 minutes. Wow, that was a long time for that. That was half the day. And big levels there, guys. Oh, my God. Here we go. All right, let's see if we got a company offer here, too. We can upgrade our stuff here. Let's do... Um, I'm going to do another high-value cargo uh, just because I feel like we really do need the, uh, the money. And there's no job here. Oh, my God. Check that out, guys. Our first delivery here with no... Huh, no return. Uh, let's see if we have another jo job anywhere here under Everett. Uh, go down to Portland. Is there anything really close? Uh, we could run a load of scrap metal right out of the... That's what we're doing. We're going to see if we can get this done in the same day. We still have a few hours. Fire up the ride. We'll do it. And let's go across the street now. We'll go out the other way here so you guys can check this place out. Skipping a gear will do it. Right, one of the 
biggest things as an owner operator is you really want to try to lessen your travel time empty okay so if you are able to obviously if you have your own trailer pick up and drop off relatively close to each other the, the less miles that you have running empty you're better off with on making a better profit you always want to try to keep the trailer loaded um, that is one of the all tail uh, kind of like you know little quirks of the business and let's see what kind of options we have for this trailer and we just have one fantastic actually we had other ones there i think they're different colors to be honest with you uh oh no they're different styles oh oh i like this or we can do the long one let's do the shorty i like the shorty still 154 bucks cool all right let's uh oh testing my brakes mike I think level five, we uh, get a gypsus in this truck, but we'll see. And like I said, I will add some of the mods that I'm using down in the uh, description. What's up, John? You know, down there so you guys can check out. Maybe if you guys want to try some of the other mods that I'm using too. But like I said, primarily, you are definitely going to just want to use the realistic fuel and the realistic economy uh, due to the major fact uh, that what's really cool about it is that it is actually real life numbers. That makes sense? Real life numbers? No backup alarm on this truck. Overshoot it. And we'll string it out up with it now. This gear is so low. All right. Might have to go call up a buddy of mine and get this uh, old 250 tuned up a little bit. As my wheels hop around in here. And there she is. And let's take a look at this thing on the outside. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, we're going to pull the wheel off. We'll pull the wheel off the ground. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. thousand pounds here in the trailer alone we are definitely overweight here on this old truck here but guys let me know down in the comment section again let me know if you guys are doing this let me know how you guys are making out if you guys are again if you guys are new here make sure to smash the thumbs up button give it an old sub we are on the road to 5,000 subs cannot thank you guys enough you guys are the absolute best that is going to do it for this episode. We will catch you next week in the next Owner Operator Series here. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. I will catch you on the flip. Mm -hmm.